All right, my friends, fundamentals of forms. You probably know how to do a form, um, but here's some form basics, okay? So you go into Google Drive and you go into new and it's gonna be under more and then Google Forms. Now this is the newer model of forms, which is not my favorite, but um, they used to have an option where you could go back to the old model, but they don't let you do that anymore. So here we go. Okay, so if you put the title in here, Let's just say, um, I want this to, um, sizes for t-shirts. Okay. Cause that's something you might use a, a, a form for. Okay. So sizes for t-shirts, if I need to describe it, um, t-shirts for, um, next year. Okay. So let's say if I need to collect all the staff t-shirt sizes for next year. And then here, my first question might be, um, I want the teacher's name. Now I don't necessarily have to do this because I could always put the default in that I want to collect their um, email with it, but I usually put their name because I would need to be able to sort by name. That's just me. So, um, and you might want to put last name. Okay. So, um, and it's not a multiple choice, right? Unless you're listing every teacher's last name, which you might want to do, but might be easier just to let them do, um, type their own name in. Now, the difference between these two is short answer is just like a small one word answer. Okay. Like one, one or two words. Paragraph is when you want to give them a lot of room to type, right? So, um, I'm going to short answer cause it's just their name. All right. So it's required because I need to know their name. Correct. Then I'm going to add, this is where I would add a question. Now, if I want to, um, add an image here. I would add an image here. If I need to add a video, this is where I would add a video. So let's say I want to, I don't know, add a cute video. Okay. I'm going to add a video and, um, I'm going to see if I can look one up and let's say I want to, um, teachers and, um, end of school year. You guys can all relate to this. So I'm going to put teachers and end of school year, um, teacher gifts. Um, okay, whatever. Let's just put this in. I'm going to select it and there's my video. Okay. So I can make, um, teachers end of school year. So like you would put this, if this was like a test that you did for your students and you wanted to know their name, and then you might want to put, watch this video and then you have them watch a video. And then the next item that you add in is, um, tell me in 10 words or less what you thought about this video. Okay. So let's, that's how you would input a video. It's really simple video. Okay. If you need to add an image, add an image. What do you think about this picture or whatever? Okay. Or here's a picture of the t-shirt. Tell me what you think kind of thing. Okay. And then if you want to, you know, delete something here, or if you want to put it in the center, see how that works. Pretty easy, right? Okay. If you want to get rid of it, if you want to duplicate it, if you want to delete it, delete pretty simple. All right. So now, um, and this one here is if you want to add another section to it, that's kind of an advanced thing. So I'm not really going to worry about that right now. So last name, short answer, and I'm going to add the next thing I want to know is your shirt size. Um, and I'm going to give them some choices here. Okay. Because I've got some male and female teachers here. So I'm going to put uh, men's Excel, and then I'm going to add an option men's large at an option men's medium okay that's not how you spell men's don't grammatically fix me here men's um small at an option women's xl you could 2xl whatever you want to do right you guys get the idea right women's um large on and on and on okay so then when I'm done with that, you could always add other, if you think that they might want to say, none of these fit me, please get me an X, a two XL or whatever you want to do. Okay. So that's what you do. And this is required. Okay. That's really kind of all you do. Now, if you want to um, change the design or the color or something, see how that changes the background. Now, if you want to give it a title, see how I clicked on that, that happened because the title was already here. So you want to make sure you have a title. Okay. So here, if you want to preview what it's going to look like live, you're going to do that here. And that's what it's going to look like to people when you send it. Okay. If you want to go back to edit, it's the pencil. Okay. And then when you're ready to send it, settings are here. You can change some settings 
anyone in Val Verde, okay? If you want to, they can only submit one response. Like if it's students and they're taking a test, you're only going to want to see one response. Maybe you don't want them to do it over and over, okay? Um, maybe you want them to be able to fix their response. Maybe you want them to see the summary of their responses, whatever, okay? So when you're done, um, anyone, can, anyone in Val Verde, anyone, period, when you're done with your settings, you're going to save it there. Then you're going to send it to people, okay? So send it to their email, put a subject, put a message. This one, um, add collaborators, means you can share it with other teachers. So whoever else can add to your form, you can collaborate on it together. This include form and email means the form will show up, not the link, but the actual form in their email. I tend to not want to do that because I like them to actually open the form, but that's me. Okay, so you can send it via email, send it with the link. You can send it on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want to do. And then this is where you would put automatically collect their username. So if you don't want to put their first column, be their last name, and you just want to put what's your shirt size, period, or whatever, then and but you want to, this, if you collect this, then that's going to let you know um, who sent it. Okay, so that's basically what you do with that. And then... When you're going to, the responses will come up in um, a Google Sheet, create a spreadsheet, okay? And um, you're already going to, now sometimes it'll prompt you, do you want to create a new spreadsheet or an existing spreadsheet? If you have an existing spreadsheet, put it in there. But normally it's create a new spreadsheet because I want a brand new spreadsheet just simply for this. All right, so there you go.